The question is, do you like babies? Do you like arranging marriages so that couples can have babies? And maybe I should back up. The question is whether or not you like XCOM, turn-based battles and base management, but you also want to make babies or make people make babies. Yeah, yeah. You are Commander Matchmaker Yenta, the one who arranges marriages so that they have the perfect babies to destroy the Cadence, which is this this like plant-like enemy. Just just kill the things. You, you'll figure it out. And that's the fun thing. You can arrange marriages however you like. You can make it so that you get these two women to marry one another, and of course they can't make babies, but they can adopt. Or you can make this woman and this guy get married, and they're gonna have perfect babies. Actually, they're gonna have all their quirks, so maybe it won't be so perfect. You have to deal with the subject of death and time and dying of old age. There's not many tactical strategy RPGs where your characters are dying of old age all the time, but in here they're definitely going to be dying all over the place. But that's the weird thing. It doesn't matter if your heroes die, because if your heroes die, you just make more babies. It's just that simple. Well, you're always hopefully making babies, because you want the people that you're arranging to marry to have babies. The thing that sucks is that you can't name your heroes. They just live, they die, they don't really have any personality. I mean, they have traits and perks and stuff like that, but since they don't have their own unfolding narrative, and since you can't name them your friends like you can in XCOM, you don't really care if they die all that much, because, I mean, well, they're all gonna die. I just don't feel connected to the characters in the game. So Massive Chalice has your typical XCOM loop. You're gonna go out, you're gonna kill some things and turn based battles and sure that you're not putting this guy too close to that far edge over there and making sure that you're sticking together as a team. And then you're going to deal with the base management side of things. The enemies are not the most interesting to look at maybe, but how they affect your decisions in the battlefield are kind of ingenious. Like there's these ruptures which explode and put all this corrosive goo all over the battlefield. So you don't want to stand on that spot anymore. You just want to get around it as fast as possible. Then there's these wrinklers and when they hit you, they make you age five years. And when you age, that's a real big problem because you want your heroes to stay alive as long as possible. Just to say that enemies in the game, they add a very specific tone to this game that wouldn't exist in any other kind of game like it. When I got to that last hundred years, the battles got really, really tight. They got tense, and I wasn't always sure if I could make it through. I just realized that you could very easily find yourself in a situation where you can't win the game. Which is really cool. I like it when you can't win the game because you just didn't play it well enough. And I think that also speaks to the tightness of the simulation. Massive Chalice is going to hold us over until XCOM 2 shows up. But the question is whether or not we're going to remember it beyond that point. I'm definitely going to remember the whole, like, arranging of marriages and that sort of thing. And I'm going to remember really questioning, you know, is this character fertile enough? The way that the game does tactics and battle stuff isn't super duper over the top amazing fresh, but it's still good enough that I could sink my teeth into it. And you will like this game if you're looking forward to XCOM 2. It will hold you over. And you get to make babies, so that's kind of cool. For plus 10 damage, we give Massive Chalice a 7.0. If you want to hear about more interesting games like Massive Chalice, stay tuned to Plus 10 Damage. Although, you probably won't find other ones where you get to make babies. Although, who knows? That could be really nice. Maybe that becomes a growing trend. Making baby games. <laughs>